Hello everyone, this is Ur, a beautiful day in Germany. Today I'll be talking about ITIN number. Do you need an ITIN number? What's ITIN number? In this video, I'll be talking about everything. So first thing first, let's just say what does this ITIN number mean? It stands for Individual Taxpayer Identification Number, which means for the people who make business or that you make money in the US, at some point that you have to pay your taxes in the US. So if you don't have an SSN, you can use your ITIN. The only reason that ITIN exists is for the people who can't get SSN. So if you don't have an SSN, and if you, there's the, the ways that you need to, you know, put your SSN number that is asked to you, but you don't have that SSN number, guess what you have to do? You get to get your ITIN number. Let's say you're setting a PayPal account, all right? When you set a PayPal account, at some point PayPal may ask you some further documents. I know it from my business, my USA bank account that we've been doing it for a long time, that some of my clients are having issues, even though they have their American physical bank accounts in the US, they're having issues to set their PayPal. Why? Because they ask for the SSN or ITIN. So you should have face about it. Um, that's what ITIN stands for. All right, this number is issued by IRS. It is so simple, basic information. If uh, when you're getting an ITN number online, this is the, one of the points that you have to know, and you gotta be sure that the source is by IRS. Maybe at some point, uh, the digits depends on the digits. People may give you some fake ITN numbers. I mean, don't get your ITN number from eBay, for example. You know, this has to be definitely issued by IRS. So, do I need an ITN number, guys? There is no answer of this question. It's yes or no. It depends if it's asked to you. Obviously, you need it. So simple. But if it's not when you're setting your business in the beginning, you don't have to have an ITN number for sure. Uh, let, like when I talk about our business that we do uh, help people to get the US bank accounts, uh, they're asking like, as a taxpayer, should I have my ITN number in order to get my business bank account? No. You can go with your EIN number, but some banks may require the ITN number after some time that you use that bank. That is why in the beginning you don't need it. So where do you get your ITN number? In my USA bank account, what we do is that we have this uh, IRS certified person who works with us for our taxation, for our client's taxation. At the same time, he can obtain real legit ITN number. We have this service. Besides, there's, there may be other uh, options on online as well. So we have this option. And the duration of this ITN number is six to eight months. Well, it also depends. Like sometimes, you know, Trump shuts down the government, then it they don't work. It may just even like take way longer. It can take lesser. If it's like someone is telling you that they cannot give you an ITN number in such a short time, be careful. All right, guys, it was me, Ur, again. Hope this video was valuable for you. Let me know if you have an ITA number and if you ever use your ITA number and what for. I'll be waiting for your comments down below. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.